Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dreadabatoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Morty Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. All you guys gotta do is go inside my description below and now go and download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require other files, so all you gotta do is download Enable all interiors and I will leave this inside my description below. Next, download Lemon UI and I will leave this inside my description below. Once you have completed that, then now let's get started. All you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Make sure that you do install all of your requirements. Open up your scripts folder, and now, as you can see, it is completely empty. Next, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN3 folder, and select all the files that's inside that folder, and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back one, and now open up your SHVDN2 folder. And now select all the files that's inside that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Open up your enable all interiors folder. And now open up that folder that's inside your extract folder. And select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your player companion extract folder there will be another folder inside there open up that folder now all you got to do is select all the files and folders and drag it inside your scripts folder this will pop up just select replace and then now all you got to do is go to your Gratif audio v main folder right click refresh the game folder exit out of your game folder exit out of your extract folder right click Refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back with Franklin. So we are inside the game and our game did not crash. Now, before we do start our player companion mod, we need to enable our interiors. So open up your phone, go to contacts, then now go right down to the bottom. And now all you gotta do is go to enable interiors. Now, wait for a few seconds, go to change an interior, now you can choose what interior that you want, but I'm going to leave everything as default, and all you got to do once you complete setting up your settings, go to MISC options, and now go to load MP maps, and now change that to true, and enable blips, change that to true, and now this is optional. Random color blips, change that to true. Once you have finished with that, go back one and now go to refresh interior. Now, once you have completed that, then go on your keyboard and press insert. Now, your game will freeze for only a few seconds. Don't worry about that. And then there you go. Now, next. Open up your phone again, go to your contacts, and I go right down to the bottom, and I go to player companion, and now on your contacts, okay, 
you can request a date and etc okay or select a new companion now to select a new companion you need to go and find someone else so let's go around and find another paired a random person so we need to find someone okay right here so all you got to do is go close to someone else okay and then now on your keyboard press T and then now press Y okay wait got distracted there okay something happened there and there you go now your player over here is now your companion whatever you do he will follow if you bring up your gun he will do that too which he's getting beaten up by the cars so yeah and if you shoot someone he will help you to shoot them too so that is pretty cool now on your map okay there's multiple activities to do um, you can even go for a bike ride or you can go to the fireplace and have a romantic evening with your partner but you need a female to do that and etc you can go to the nightclubs and start dancing or you can just only do some activities and etc there's loads of activities but you guys gotta go through and find them uh, and over here what you can do is that you can go to a different location let's try this one over here and our, our play will always follow us and now let's go over here and we got another fire, fire pit over here to kick back and chill now when you go close to your companion you can talk to him if you want to now over here okay you can talk to your partner by pressing T and now you can interact with your partner by pressing U and now you can hug him it is all taking up to you but I'm not going to hug him because he's a male so I'm going to go back and now you can access the menu by pressing G and now you can just only do orders like stay there, follow me, move to the point attack the enemy or clear cast but yeah guys you can do whatever you want with your player companion okay these loads of things that you can do but I just don't want to go through the whole thing because there's loads of things okay but if you do get stuck then you can just let me know in the comments below so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that don't forget my discord server is inside my description below so go and check that out and I will leave the developers discord server inside my description below so go and check that out as well so with that said okay if you guys do enjoy this video please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out